The Lenovo ThinkBook 13X Generation 2 clearly states what it wants to do. And that is to be light enough and bring performance that can outlast any competitor in the incredibly fierce business market. First, we want to highlight the QI wireless charging mat you get with the ThinkBook. It doesn't replace the conventional 100W Type-C charger, however, it has metal squares that make contact with the bottom of the laptop, while also providing an additional surface for charging another device. The laptop is essentially a slab of aluminum. It's very well built, with some minor flexing of the lid, but it's all worth it, considering the 12.9mm profile and the weight of only 1.2kg. Going further down to the base, we have an edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, a fingerprint reader inside the power button, and a glass surface touchpad. The keyboard's got spill resistance and very clicky feedback, which compensates for the lack of key travel. The touchpad isn't the biggest, but nevertheless, it's as responsive and as accurate as ever. The lid fails to open with one hand, but nonetheless, it shows the Gorilla Glass Cover display. Before we get to it, we have to check out the 720p webcam and all the sensors that it carries. First off we have an IR sensor for facial recognition so you log in way quicker, a proximity sensor that automatically locks the laptop whenever you move away from it, as well as an ambient light sensor, which can be used for auto brightness adjustment. Now, for the display, what we've got here is a QHD plus IPS unit with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. At 13.3 inches, it's incredibly crisp, while also reaching 424 nits of peak brightness. It fully covers the sRGB color gamut, while our design and gaming profile tailors the accuracy to a delta E value of 0.8, which is incredibly accurate all things considered. We'll link our display profiles in the description. The port selection consists of just two Thunderbolt 4 ports, with one on the left and one on the right. Additionally, there's a 3.5mm audio jack on the right, while Lenovo is smart enough to provide you with HDMI and USB Type-A dongles in the box. The speaker setup is on the bottom side, with two decent-sized cutouts on the left and right. They are Harman Kardon branded, so Lenovo wants you to think they're of good quality, and they actually are. The max volume is pretty high, while the frequency test showed no significant deviations. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. In terms of power, you've got two Alder Lake U-Series processors to pick from. Both the Core i5-1235U and the Core i7-1255U come with 10 cores and 12 threads, while the i7 has 6 megabytes of extra cache. We tested the Core i7 configuration in Cinebench R23, and while it performs better than the Elite Dragonfly G3 from HP, it falters when put against the Microsoft Surface Laptop 5, which uses the Core i5 CPU. The reason for this behavior is hidden in the cooling. The setup here looks pretty good, with two fans and two heat pipes, which converge on top of the CPU. The maximum that the ThinkBook will boost its Core i7 is up to 30 watts and 2.9 GHz, which is lower than most competitors, however, the laptop is able to maintain the wattage for longer. After 15 minutes, it settles at 23 watts which is still better than the 15 watts base TDP of the CPU. This behavior also helps keep the noise down, while the base doesn't heat up much, with a hotspot of only 41.4 degrees Celsius. Lenovo could work on the battery life some more, as the 56 watt hours unit lasts for only 6 hours and 33 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 58 minutes of video playback, which is a lot less than what the Elite Dragonfly G3 offers. Similar to a lot of other small office machines, the ThinkBook 13X Generation 2 comes with soldered memory, with a total of 32GB of LPDDR5 RAM. As for storage, there's one M.2 slot that fits Generation 4 SSDs. 
We have a separate teardown video, which shows how to get inside the ThinkBook. It's linked below in case you need it. The Lenovo ThinkBook 13X Generation 2 is a champion of portability, pairing an aluminum chassis with a touchscreen and enough performance to compete with the likes of HP and Dell. The refreshing design of the ThinkBook helps a lot as well, giving competitors a run for their money, which was previously tough to do with the old ThinkPads. If Lenovo can somehow fit a bigger battery inside, we'd have a serious contender for the 13-inch crown. For a deeper look at the Lenovo ThinkBook 13X Generation 2, check out our review on our website. You can find it in the description below.